Hey guys, Dan at Kane Custom Garage. Hey, I wanted to make a little video um, to show you guys because I had these uh, aluminum parts that have that white corrosion on them, you know, aluminum chainsaw parts. And I wanted to try um, white vinegar on them because I saw a guy on YouTube clean up a chainsaw bar um, that way and it worked pretty good. So I thought, eh, let's try it on that white corrosion on the aluminum parts. So anyways, that's what I wanted to show you guys. We'll do a little video on that, see what it does. And then also, I was going to show you some some more stuff I got. I bought, picked up this little Super 2 chainsaw. It's an anti-vibe one, which I've never seen before, but it's sort of cool. Got that for 40 bucks. Then I got some more Pioneer RA parts off of eBay. A top cover for an RA. And a really nice air deflector, which I was looking for one of those. Air cleaner. Cool. And then I also got this RA part saw. Can never have enough of those RAs. She's a greasy one, but it's got a little good parts on it. So anyways, check out the video. Let me know what you think. Okay guys, here's our little white vinegar experiment. I got this air filter housing off of a Pioneer chainsaw. And it's got a pretty good amount of that white corrosion on it and so I want to try that I want to try the um, white vinegar on it and see what it does see if it cleans that off got a little sandwich meat container that works pretty good so let's dump some in there and see what it does and then we'll let it sit overnight or something See what that does. Yummy. Put that screw in there. So yeah, let's see if it starts to bubble or something. Yeah, it's starting to bubble a little bit. So anyways, we'll let her sit for a while, for a few hours, maybe overnight, and we'll come back and see if it cleans it. Okay, bye-bye till then. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes now. Now look at that thing, it's like a bubbling and a oozing. A bunch of crap's coming off. I put the, I put the other piece in there too. Mmm, looks delicious. Oh, damn. Yummy. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. If you drip this white vinegar on your concrete, wipe it up quick because it'll etch it. I learned the hard way. All right, we'll come back and check it out. Maybe, like, tomorrow or something. Okay, I lied. I didn't wait till the next day. It's been a couple hours and so here's the bubbling cauldron. Yummy. It's all the vinegar's all black. Yuck. Let's put these in there. Put them in a bucket of water. And we'll give them a little scrub with the brush. Oh. If I can do this with two hands. <laughs> Here, let me screw. If I drop this in the water, my wife's gonna be pissed. Give it a little scrubby rubby. Oh yeah, it actually cleaned it up pretty good. Huh? Interesting. And then I put this piece in there too. It was pretty nasty, but I bet you if you left that steel piece in there overnight, it'd be like super clean. 
spaghetti. So yeah, that worked pretty good. It actually got the corrosion off. You can see the pitting from where it was. Huh? Crazy. So yeah, that works pretty good for getting that white death off of aluminum parts. So yeah, try it out. So there it is, guys. All cleaned up. It worked pretty good. I just gave it a little steel wool to get the rest of the crap off of it. Yeah, see that bottom part cleaned up pretty good. Yeah, it actually got all the corrosion off. Now you can see all the pitting, but yeah, that's pretty cool. The air cleaner's off of like a 650 or something. It was on that RA carcass. Somebody had put it on there. So anyways, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and give me some comments if you like the video. Okay, bye.